Oh yes, welcome back to my YouTube channel, my friends. Today we are on the David Chin Duster build. Oh, just wait, Chuck, what the hell? What the fuck, Chuck? That's not a duster. Isn't that a Corvette? I think so. You know what? Great minds think alike. I just watched David Chin's recent build, and look at this. That son of a gun's doing a Corvette, a 75 vet. And the funny part is, I just completed this kit. Well, actually, it's not 100% completed. I still got some polishing and small stuff to do. But you know what? I just finished this around January, February, March, beginning of the year. So, you know, and he is doing a 75 Corvette. The one I'm doing is a 74. So it's kind of funny how just by chance we ended up doing the same kit. So, hey, same way with blah, 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 blah. Except for me, who can't speak, and that's why I'm the substandard leader on YouTube in car model building and motorbike powered or motor engine powered bikes and whatever else. Yeah, don't go on tangents, Chuck. Stick with the program. Today we're going to get on the duster build, so let's start that. So we're going to start things off today by painting the engine, but where the hell is the water pump? I have to go find it. Okay, son of a gun. I had to come downstairs to my downstairs trickle trunk to find the water pump. No, for the Porsche, I didn't pay 25 bucks for it. I think I paid like five bucks for that or something. I bought it used. I can't even, I think one of the value villages. Anyway, see, I'm getting sidetracked. In my tickle trunk on the bottom of these cars also is my exotic collection or supercars. So we got the Porsche 928, and underneath the Porsche there's a Ferrari and a Lamborghini, a, a Testarossa, a Testacolosa. Because uh, yeah, I like those cars actually. I thought they were pretty cool. So I'm missing. What am I missing? Did I say already? Probably I did. I'm missing the water pump the duster engine and I'm hoping it's in this kit because uh, I'm screwed and we'll have to make one if not so that's what I'm looking for yes there it is oh thank goodness Chucky you found it oh you know what there's decals here holy shit there's other stuff on the bottom of this box I don't even know what I got in here oh pictures uh, model kit stickers around two stuff but there's decals i think decals wow look at that <gasps> there's twister decals holy shit ball i didn't know i had that where did i even get those i have no clue holy shit <coughs> whoops <laughs> speaking of it literally uh so i got the water pump i got the decals that's all i need wow i think the awesome instructions in this kit. Awesome, awesome possum. When I was a young boy, a young tad, probably 14, 15 years old, these were on the shelves in the hobby shop. I thought they were the coolest thing ever. But normally, I could only afford so many kits back then. But this one was on my list. I was in love with this kit, the Scamp kit, which, you know what? The last 10 years or whoever in modeling has been a bonus because they're repopping all these again and they originally said they lost a lot of these molds so we are so lucky to have this shit nowadays sorry i shouldn't say shit because it's good stuff that's my story and i'm sticking with it all right now we got to this stage i've let the glue sit up for about eight hours and i'm probably gonna let this sit overnight because hey look at it's already dark out. Wow, this lens is really dirty, isn't it? I didn't notice till now. Uh, needs a washing. Anyhow, I'm not going to spray outside in the dark. So I want to primer that and then maybe fill it in more than likely as well as, like I mentioned, the front. We have to spray that. 
And in the meantime, what did we find? What did we do? Or what did I find? What did we do? Uh, we painted the engine. So we got a Hemi zesty orange on that. So we're letting things dry. Did the top of the air cleaner and the bottom of the air cleaner. And even managed to do it, dribble a little bit on the top of the intake, the six packer. And not to be confused with the fudge packer. Those are two different things, kids. And what else did I do? I'm, oh yeah, I didn't do the silver yet. I'm going to try this just because I can. We're going to see how this craft silver looks like. I just picked this up today, so I don't know. And again, we're going to do the rear end, her rear end and that, and see how things look. And yeah, we'll come back. And we tried the craft paint over the black and it was crap paint that's more the name for what this should be however i think i could use it on the rear end if i paint the rear end black and then do that silver over it should give it that kind of sheen so that i'm okay with or we'll see what happens anyhow experiment 101 Okay, okay, this is what I think I want. It's kind of black, kind of gray, kind of silver. Now what I did was I painted the bottom gas tank first, the silver. Then I dipped my brush without cleaning it into the black. And then I kind of just painted over it. So now I kind of got different blah, 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 different look to it. Uh, I might muddy it dirt or actually this car would have been a brand new car would have never been driven because that's the theme when we're going to put it on the car hauler so I can't really dirty this up however it does have a bit of gloss on it so I'm either gonna I'll have to satin this up a bit it's a bit too shiny for this cat see yeah that's way too shiny kids but it does give a little contrasting color there silver kind of uh gray it looks gray on camera uh or and in my eyes it's darker than what the camera shows so that's an interesting combo so i kind of like the how this is going uh the springs i don't know what we're gonna do springs similar kind of blacky dirty whatever ish I guess I should clarify that it's uh, leaf springs. I just said springs, so. And let's uh, just do this. And we're gonna probably uh, dry brush it in silverish or something after. Kind of, why well, not dry brush, we might even use that silver. So we're just going lightly, you know, it can't look too uh, over restored type of thing. So that is what we got going on there, kids. Am I even videoing this? I'm kind of holding the camera, dipping the paint brush, brushing away. We're doing a just really sloppy job because we want or attempting to go different colors, different kind of look, not all the same one tone color. A little bit more here. Hold on. Actually, we're going to even throw over a little bit of this because it's pretty. Whoops. I my videoing is substandard hey don't worry yeah see look at that that's kind of what we're gonna do just dry semi dry brush not totally brushed and it's just giving it some kind of unevenness of a coating some areas are a little blacker than others and some areas have got more yeah look at that wow I like it I like it this is the right direction just a touch more Touch more, touch more. I don't know if I'm videoing, but it doesn't matter. I can just talk to you, right? Look at that. Maybe too black. Uh, yeah, how is that? I think that might be okay. We'll see how it dries up. Uh, I'm kind of... Uh, I don't want it too lumpy. And I've already got thinner on this brush because I'm trying to clean it out really good now. To let that sit outside that she's gonna come home and complain it smells in here so something like that maybe we'll see how it looks we'll see how it dries out and flattens out 
So I guess this is as good as time as any to end this video and I did do the silver wash on that and I like the result. It looks like a very factory-ish like color. Maybe the rear end, her rear end, I'll have to do a black wash because it's a little more blacker the factory kind of rear end look. So it'll be a blackish, silvery-ish. So you'll have some color differentiations or whatever word you want to put in there. Uh, this is going to go a flat black because the, they had that on the factory. I've seen some people paint the underbody body color on these. A lot of people do. But hey, most cars were undercoated because they would rust to shit, especially where I used to live. The other thing I did was I did do a little bit of goldish on the carbs just to give it that kind of look. I had a picture up. Silver intake, goldish carbs, slight goldish. And that's what I did because I put silver on the base and then a little bit of acrylic gold wash over top. What else did I do? Uh, that's how the six pack intake's looking. Oh, the other one more thing I'm gonna point out. I'm getting rid of the air conditioning. Hot rods don't need air conditioning. Air conditioning, you can't go fast. It sucks power, that's all there is to it. So AAR six pack duster, it is getting a removal and then I'll have to make some kind of belt system there. That's minor detail. So in saying that kids, turn you around so you can see this face, ugly face. You don't want to see this. You want to see the car model. Anyways, David Chin, thanks muchly for this build together. Um, really excited comparing to what you're doing to what I'm doing. That's kind of cool. You're doing amazing. I love the interior look on your car. Check out David Chin's channel. See how his build is coming along on the duster if you haven't already. The other thing is, he's doing his in the green. It's almost a yellow. So I'm still considering maybe sublime green on this because it's a little bit greenier than his car. So I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, I'm still on the fence about that. But anybody got AR CUDA decals? I could use them. I'll ask again. I wouldn't mind a set. I don't want to pay a million bucks, but five bucks, something like that. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, what else do I got? I don't know. Shut up, Chuck. Stop. Blah, blah, blah. Cheers, my friends. Yep. A mm. little bit bitter today, but you know what? Feed the addiction. What the hell? Stay awesome. Build on. Keep building on. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Again. We're out.